star which was in the east went before them till it came and stood over the place where the young child lay sleeping. When they saw the star, they rejoiced and were comforted. And when they came into the stable, they saw the young child with his mother, Mary, and fell down and worshipped him. When they had opened their treasures, they presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. <sighs> That's a lovely story, Papa. Yes, and that is the grandest Christmas tree I think I've ever seen. Well, if not, it's certainly the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. The biggest and the grandest. Uh -huh. But what's this? There's something missing. No, where? Why, right there at the top. And the very thing I was just reading about. The star. We've forgotten the star. There's a funny thing. Well, now it couldn't have just walked out by itself. I'm not so sure, Mother. Look. Uh-huh. Here's the culprit. What's this, then? I see. A fallen star and a fallen angel. Well, no matter. Hmm, a fine thing to happen on Christmas Eve. A tree with no star. Oh, Papa, it won't be a real Christmas without the star. Come now, a tree is no less a tree without a star. And Christmas will always be Christmas. And at least we can be thankful for the things we do have. Merry Christmas, my darlings. <laughs>
Stand aside, please, Pam. Davy, no time to chat. Work to be done, you know. <laughs> make way! Make way! The moment is at hand. Profundo will see to everything. Make way! What a peculiar angel. Milky Way, off you go. Step lively now. Alpha Centauri, single file, please. This way to the launching platform. One star at a time. Plenty of room for everyone. Just look at them, Davy. No patience. No patience at all. Pushing and crowding each other as though there weren't enough sky to go around. After all, it's a star's sacred duty to stand at his station and shine his light till the end of time. It's all there in the star's motto, non moveos. What's that mean? Why, it means stay put, of course. Well, it'll be nightfall before they're ready for me. <sighs> Might as well do something constructive in the meantime. Uh, say, Davy, be a good little cherub and wake me up when it's time to go. <sighs> Accustomed as I am to public speaking. <laughs> no, no, that will never do. Ah, I have. <clears throat> uh, it is indeed an honor. No, no, strike that. A privilege to congratulate you as you go to take your assigned places across this great universe. Which reminds me of an amusing anecdote. <laughs> oh, my! Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for your kind attention, but I, I really must be going. Goodbye! And good Just look at all those stars. Stars? What am I saying? Oh, no, it, it can't be. I'm late. Hey, in there. Open up. Don't leave me behind. I belong up there, too. Oh, it's no use. Nobody will ever hear me down here. I guess the galaxy will just have to do without me. Wait a minute. What am I saying? After all, it's a star's sacred duty to stand at his station and shine his light till the end of time. I've got to go with them. of them except me oh sure i was gonna be a smart guy just catch a few winks wake up in the nick of time and sail on out to my own little piece of sky but no 
the one and only ever first day of creation, and I'm late. Davy. He's at the bottom of this, the little scamp. When I get a hold of him, I'll... Oh, what am I talking about? It's not his fault. I made my own bed. And now I'll just have to lie in it. If only there was someone I could explain this to. Uh... Excuse me? Sir? I hope I'm not disturbing you, but, well, you see, my name's Stan, and I seem to have missed my, uh, flight? I was hoping maybe you could help me. Oh, yes, yes, of course. You're one of the stars who got left behind. <laughs> left behind? Oh, I guess you know what this means, don't you? Well, don't you? I'll tell you, it means I failed. It was my job to make sure that each and every star was precisely where it was supposed to be on the first day of creation. And out of a billion stars, 999,999,999 were all together in the right place at the right time. But it only takes one to spoil a perfect record. Oh, buck up, old fella. You did the best you could. Besides, no one knows about this but us. Maybe there's some way we could put things right before anybody finds out. Never. It's absolutely unethical. Unthinkable. Besides, it'd be a bureaucratic nightmare. Forms to fill out, papers to file, petitions, approvals, signatures, and the creator. Oh, my, yes. He'd simply have to know about this. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I really put you on the spot, huh? Looks like the best thing I can do for both our sakes is to go someplace and just disappear. But, but where will you go? I don't know. But after all, heaven's a pretty big place, and I'm just a little guy. I'll think of something. See you around, fellas. It could have been swell. Oh, wait a minute. Come back. We'll find another way. Oh, my! Good evening, Lord. And who is this bright fellow? Well, he's something of a... Well, that is to say, uh, he... Pardon me, Lord, but Profundo's not to blame. It's really all my fault. I see. I fell asleep when I should have been preparing to take my place in the sky. That's why I'm still here, instead of out there with the others. I failed you, Lord. Well, well, this is serious. What do you think should be done, small one? It's not my place to say, Lord. But if I were you, I'd put me further out to space than any other star. Way out, in the coldest, loneliest spot you could find, so no one could ever see me shine. Come then, Stan. I think I have just the place for you, a very special place indeed. <laughs> You deserve no punishment, small one, for you have done no wrong. If you were left behind, then it simply means you were meant to be. This will be your outpost until I need you again. I... I don't understand, Lord. 
Let's just say I have a very important job for you. But there will be plenty of time for that later. You don't have to worry about me, Lord. This is a lovely place to shine. And I'll never forget to do my duty. Never. Morning. Mm. Mm. Time to call it a night. Funny how the garden always seems so fresh and new in the morning. I never get bored with it. And I can't begin to count all the years that have gone by since I first came here. Still, I can't help but wonder about that important job the Creator wanted me to do. Maybe it'll never happen. Maybe the Creator was just trying to cheer me up. Hey, be careful. Chasing butterflies again, huh? You just never learn, do you? Oh, well. What's the use? Up you go. Davy, there you are. I've been turning the clouds upside down trying to find you. You should be ashamed. You didn't even stop to put on your halo. Honestly, I think sometimes you'd forget your wings if they weren't attached. If you don't start paying attention, one of these days you're just going to fall down through a hole in the clouds. Davy. Oh, honestly. One thing I can say for sure, heaven certainly isn't dull. be as fast as a shooting star to catch him now. Stan! Stan. It's Davy! He's fallen through! Fallen through? Fallen through what? The clouds! He's gone through a hole in the clouds! You've got to save him! No! I can't! What? I just can't! I promised the Creator I'd never forget my duty. And my duty is non moveos to stay put in the garden <laughs> well don't put yourself out on our account if he won't help us we'll just have to save davy ourselves come pam well i guess i deserve that poor little guy out there all alone in the dark i can't turn my back on him now I'll never be able to face myself. I'm sorry, Lord, but I don't care what happens to me now. Hang on, Davy. Oh, honestly, Profundo, next time, why don't you lower me down the road? Oh, Pam. Profundo will find you. Come back, Profundo. I can't hold on much longer. Oh! Really, Pam? This is no time to lose heart. Find the little fellow, or oh, my name isn't Profundo. Here goes. <laughs> have never made it without Stan. But where is he? So long, Garden. You deserve a better star than me. Running away, Stan? I don't belong here anymore, Lord. I broke my promise. 
I can't go back to the garden. You don't have to go back, Stan. The time has come, and I need you somewhere else. I can't, Lord. I'm not the right one for the job. I guess I'm just not cut out to be a star. Not at all, Stan. You've been just right for the job all along. I have? All along? All along. Come with me now. I made all of my creatures in the hope that they would be good and kind and help one another. And in all the world, you have proven yourself the best and the kindest. That's why I reserved a special place for you down there. High above a little town called Bethlehem. In that town, tonight, a child will be born. He is my son. Many will seek him. And I want you to light their way. I'm ready, Lord. after all. 